Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about Trichonympha. Trichonympha is a symbiotic protist included in phylum Parabasalia. Now we can go through the topic. So, Trichonympha campanula is a parabasalid symbiotic protist which inhabits in the intestine of insects such as termites and wood roaches. We already know that Trichonympha is included in phylum Parabasalia and they are inhabiting inside the intestine of insects such as termites and wood roaches. Trichonympha was first described by Joseph Leidy in 1877. The word Trichonympha comes from the Latin word trico and the word nympha. Trico means hair which refers to the thousands of flagella present in the trichonympha and the word nympha was chosen by Joseph Lady when he first observed trichonympha. Trichonympha is included in phylum Parabasalia of kingdom Protista. Phylum Parabasalia is characterized by a parabasal body which is associated with the flagellar apparatus. A parabasal body is a Golgi complex supported by a parabasal fiber. Now, let's look at the classification of Trichonympha. Trichonympha comes under the kingdom Protista, phylum Parabasalia, class Parabasalia, order Trichomonadida, family Trichonymphidae, genus Trichonympha, and species Campanula. General characters of Trichonympha. It comes under the phylum Parabasalia of kingdom Protista. It inhabits inside the intestine of food eating insects such as termites and wood roaches, unicellular flagellated organisms, and their body is oval or pear shaped. Their body is covered by pellicle or periplas. Pellicle is a thin layer of protein supporting the cell membrane in various types of protozoa. So, their body is covered by pellicle or periplas. And pellicle is a thin layer of protein supporting the cell membrane in various types of protozoa. They are symbiotic protists. Morphology The surface of the pellicle bears numerous ridges and grooves. Numerous flagella are arranged in these grooves. It has over 10,000 flagella on its surface, which helps to propel through the viscous environment of host hindgut. We know that Trichonympha are inhabiting inside the intestine of termites, and their thousands of flagella helps them to propel through the in insect's intestine. So, it has over 10,000 flagella, and they help them to propel through the viscous environment of termites' hindgut. And there are three sets of flagella anterior middle and posterior the body of trichonympha is differentiated into anterior middle and posterior regions anterior region has tapering end called rostrum which bears a non-flagellated epical cap or epical papillae so the anterior end has a tapering end called rostrum which bears a non-flagellated epical cap or epical papillae Middle region bears most of the flagella and posterior region is rounded and non-flagellated. Internally, all flagella are connected by a blepharoplast through fibrils. The cytoplasm inside the pellicle is differentiated into ectoplasm and endoplasm. Ectoplasm contains an alveolar layer, oblique fibers and transverse myonins. Endoplasm contains a centrally located nucleus, several parabasal bodies and longitudinal myonins. Trichonympha don't have a traditional mitochondria. Instead, they have a highly reduced versions of mitochondria called hydrogenosomes. That is, they don't have a traditional mitochondria. Instead, they have structures called hydrogenosomes. Reproduction. The majority of trichonympha's reproduction is asexual by binary fission. Each cell has two centrioles, one long and one short, located beneath the inner cap in the anterior end of the rostral tube. 
So, these centrioles have a fixed position in the cell and play an important role in the asexual reproduction. The cell separates into two halves starting at the rostrum. This causes an afflagellate region to be present on both the daughter cells. The newly formed daughter cells then must produce the cytoplasm to increase their size. Centrioles cause new flagella to be formed as well as a new parabasal body. Now, let's look at the symbiosis between Trachonympha and Termites. Symbiosis it is a type of close and long-term biological interaction between two different organisms. Symbiosis is a type of close and long-term biological interaction between two different organisms. It can be obligatory, which means that one or more of the symbionts entirely depend on each other for survival or facultative when they can generally live independently. So, the biological relation between trichonympha and termites is a curious case of obligatory mutualism. Trichonympha lives in symbiosis with termites. They are interdependent and mutually benefiting. Termites feed on wood, which mainly contains cellulose. So, trichonympha lives in symbiosis with termites. They are interdependent and mutually benefiting. It's only through these microbial symbionts that the termites can digest their wood cellulose. In return, trichonympha gets shelter, food, protection and all biological requirements. So, trichonympha lives in symbiosis with termites. That is, they live in the intestinal tract of termites. They are interdependent and mutually benefiting. They cannot live in separation from each other. So, termites get their food digested with the help of trichonympha. Termites, as a member of the kingdom Animalia, they don't have the genes for cellulase, the enzyme, that would hydrolyze cellulose and release glucose subunits. So, it's only through these microbial symbionts that the termites can digest the wood cellulose. In return, trichonympha gets shelter, food, protection and all biological requirements. Now, let's look at how cellulose digestion takes place in termites. Studies reveal that trichonympha has no power to produce cellulose digesting enzymes. These enzymes can be produced by the endosymbiotic bacteria living inside it. From this, it's clear that trichonympha is not producing the cellulose digesting enzymes. So these enzymes are produced by the endosymbiotic bacteria living inside it. These endosymbiotic bacteria produce cellulase and cellobiase. Cellulase breaks down the cellulose to cellobiose and cellobiose breaks down the cellobiose into glucose subunits. That is, the endosymbiotic bacteria in trichonympha produces these enzymes and trichonympha supplies these enzymes to termites for cellulose digestion. So, trichonympha is a symbiotic protist which inhabits in the intestine of insects such as termites and wood roaches. This shows an obligatory symbiosis with the wood eating insects. Termites feed on wood which contains mainly cellulose. Cellulose digestion in these insects occurs with the help of enzymes provided by the trichonympha. So, cellulose digestion in termites occurs with the help of enzymes provided by the trichonympha. And the cellulose digesting enzymes are produced by the endosymbiotic bacteria inside it. These endosymbiotic bacteria produce cellulose and cellobios which break down cellulose into glucose subunits. That is, the endosymbiotic bacteria in trichonympha produces the cellulose digesting enzymes which in turn make use for the cellulose digestion. So, that's about trichonympha and thank you for watching. Thank you.